Shade. What you did for Alia today was very cool, Marinette. You think? I would have liked to do more, but... Marinette! Alia's here! Don't worry, <sighs> Mrs. Dupan Chang. I'll just head up. She didn't exactly wait very long to tell me the big news. <gasps> Hi, Dickie, quick! <laughs> Girl, you will not believe what just happened to me! So Ladybug had just saved a bunch of workers from a supervillain. There were like a gazillion reporters waiting to interview her, and that's when it happened! Huh? Ladybug, please, Can I just get a, a moment. Can quick interview? Please, Ladybug. Ladybug, would Ladybug. you mind hey, to aren't you Alia, the girl who writes the blog about me? The lady blog. Uh, yeah. I like your work. It's awesome. Keep it up. <gasps> your earrings, Ladybug. Ah, thanks. Better get going. Bug out. Uh, that was super cool, right? Ladybug knows me. My blog. She thinks it's awesome. 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 Yeah, that's uh awesome. <laughs> Let me go grab my laptop. You're right, Tiki. I think it made her a little happy. Can I see the video? Okay, but fast. <gasps> Whoa! <sighs> you thought I was gonna drop it, didn't you? <gasps> video deleted? <gasps> I didn't just do that! Tell me I didn't just do that! You didn't just do that. Oh. Okay, you didn't just do that, but at least you didn't drop it! Oh, I really screwed up this time! Alia's gonna kill me! It's not the end of the world. I'm sure Alia will understand. Uh, she is your best friend. <sighs> You're right. Uh, on second thought... Who are you talking to? Uh, to a... a pigeon. Say hello to Alia, Jacques. Say bye-bye, Jacques, and come down. You've got visitors. What did you say the name of the play is, Mr. Hopperell? Well, it's... It's called The Mime's Extraordinary Adventure, starring the most talented, amazingly awesome actor and mime. Oh, come on now. My father! Give it up for Fred Hepro! <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Milen. Well, congratulations. You must make your daughter very proud. Now all I need is my hat to complete my costume. Here it is. Thank you, Marinette. Saving me at the last minute. I don't think Milan was exaggerating at all. Why, thank you. I fixed the tear in it. I also sewed the pocket on the inside, just like you asked. You've done a perfect job. Thanks to you, I'll have my good luck charm right here next to me at all times. A photo of my beloved daughter. Aw, oh, Dad. <gasps> Hello, Sa- Dad, where are you? Yes, I had to pick up my hat. I need you here now! It's not an excuse. I know the bus is leaving in less than a half hour. I'll be there. <sighs> That was Sarah, the play's director. She's very nervous about the premiere. She's ready to blow a fuse, so I better get going. See you tonight at the Eiffel Tower, girls. We can't wait. Love you, Dad. So, what's his excuse this time? He had to pick up his hat from a repair shop. At least that's what he said. Well, he's a very convincing actor. Actually, he is a great actor. But he's always making excuses for why he's late, why he's... Falls asleep in the middle of rehearsal? Why he has to leave early? Why he's missing parts of his costume? Come on, Sarah, when are you gonna wake up and smell the coffee? But it's up to you if you want to make the show suffer. Look, you're his understudy. Just be ready to take his place in case something happens, okay? I won't let you down, Sarah. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Marinette. I gotta go. I want to swing by my house to change before the show. Huh? Hey, that's my ringtone. Uh, <laughs> Gimme. Uh, <laughs> that was my mom. I'll call her back later. Hey, Milen, you want to see the most amazerific video? No! Uh, 
I mean, uh, you wouldn't want her to be late for her dad's premiere, would you? Yeah, Marinette's right. I gotta get going. Okay. I'll walk out with you and show it to you on the way. <gasps> Wait! Your bag's still open. All good. See you tonight. Bye. Bye. <sighs> Don't worry, Sarah. I'm early. I'm just around the corner. And no, this is Chris. Sarah asked me to call you with a last-minute location change. The bus is picking us up in ten minutes in front of the Louvre Pyramid. Really? Uh, that's on the other side of town. Yes, but, uh, it's closer to the Eiffel Tower. Well, okay. Well, uh, luckily, I'll just make it on time. Thanks for letting me know, friend. Sure, we'll see you there. <laughs> I'm off this way. All right, see you later. Wait, I have to show you my awesome bit. Where'd my phone go? You stole Alia's phone? Uh, I borrowed it. Look, all I need to do is transform into Ladybug and film myself doing the exact same thing in the exact same place, and then I'll give it right back. I don't know. Maybe it's just better to come clean now. You might be digging yourself a bigger hole. I can handle this. Fine, but don't say I didn't warn you. <gasps> hey there, Milan. Do you have all your uh, Alia's phone? Oh, there it is. It must have fallen out of her bag. Silly girl. Me. I'm here too. Oh, hi, Alia. You're on speakerphone. Okay, I'll give it to you later on at the show. See ya. <laughs> don't look at me like that. This is all gonna work out. I think. <laughs> Tiki. We have to get to the Eiffel Tower for dress rehearsal. If you wait any longer, you'll be jeopardizing the entire production. <sighs> You're right, Chris. Let's get going. You'll be taking Fred's place tonight. I definitely won't let you down. <laughs> Where are they? Excuse me. You haven't seen a bus with a poster for the Mime's Extraordinary Adventures on it, have you? He's got some nerve calling now. I wouldn't give him the time of day if I were you. Sarah, where are you? We waited for you, but you never came. But I'm on time, in front of the pyramid. What are you talking about? <laughs> Why would we be meeting there? I, I don't know. I, I thought the meeting place had changed. Fred, I don't want to hear any of your lame excuses. But Chris said... I don't care. It's not just this excuse. It's every excuse. <laughs> it's always an excuse. Well, enough is enough. Chris will be the lead tonight at the premiere. Uh -huh. At least I can count on him. Oh. Hmm. An actor who misses his own premiere. Now that's a tragedy. Go, my evil Akuma. Let's hand this actor the role of a lifetime! Mm. Okie dokie, here we go. <laughs> hey, aren't you Alia, the girl who writes the blog about me? The lady blog. Hey, no, get away! Ugh, that is so. Ew! <sighs> Cats are nothing but trouble. Ugh. What did I do? You're going to be so disappointed in me, Milan. Mine. I am Hawk Moth. I'm giving you the power to make whatever you gesture come to life. Destroy this premiere performance. You may be a mime, but they can't silence you. However, in return, you must bring me back Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculouses. So, shall we get on with the show? Ah! <laughs> 
okay? That looks like Milan's dad's hat. <gasps> oh no! Mr. Aprel? If there's something ticking you off, we can talk about it, you know. Or maybe not. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. I'm sure he'll understand, sir. <sighs> My dad's flaking, isn't he? Let me guess. Something came up? Yes, but he has reserved the best seats in the house for you, Adrian. Front row. As usual, the best money can buy. <laughs> Get out of the car and find a place to hide. I'll cover you. <laughs> we gotta transform now, Plag. I thought I was gonna be a spectator, not a performer. What about the show? No time. Huh? Flag? Claws out! The earrings! Now! Keep those hands to yourself, clown! It's okay. I've got this. My pleasure, Cat Noir. <laughs> Apparently, not seeing is believing. We can't let him go like that! Did. When he started miming the car, the bars disappeared. Hey, wait! Nice ride, but if I were you, I would have at least made it a convertible. He's one of the actors from the theater troupe, and he's after that bus! Where is he going? We gotta stop this thing! Slam down on the brake! What brake? Not bad for driving an invisible car. Of course, they'll never believe us if we tell them we just saved their lives. Uh, he's already off again. We've got to catch up with the bus before he does. <laughs> uh, what do you think you're doing? Good thing you have friends in high places. Hold on. I could have done this on my own. But we're the cat and bug team, remember? Bug and cat team, you mean. Now drop me off over there. Get ready. Where could the Akuma be? Inside his hat. How'd you know that? I have hidden talents. Trust me on this one. You've got to distract him. Gotcha. Now. Fred? The miraculous grab her earring! His hat! Grab his hat! Look out! We've got to get the passengers to safety. Can I lend a helping paw? Yeah, cover me. Hurry up, m'lady. Stop the bus. Ladybug, what's happening? One of your actors has been akumatized, and for some reason he seemed to have it in for your troop. Fred? <gasps> Don't panic. We'll
We'll get this under control. Ladybug, I know why he's after us. I took his role from him, but he can perform instead of me. I don't care anymore, please. Just keep us all safe. What do you mean you took his role from him? He lost it. Not exactly. There's something I have to tell you. His Miraculous is within your reach! I want his ring! I don't know what's made you this violent, but I don't think your daughter, Milan, would approve! He sure brings a whole new meaning to silent but deadly. Uh, lucky Charm! Shoebox? Great! There better be some explosive boots in there or something. <gasps> of course! We have to make him really angry! Blow his shoes! You don't think he's angry enough? Cat Noir, you're good at annoying people. Do your thing! Hey! That is true. Gotta borrow these. A rock? A magnifying glass, some light, voila! A homemade projector. Hey, mime! Nice poster, don't you think? So he's cornered. Good thinking, milady. Yoink! No more evil doing for you, little Akuma. Get here. Pound it. it! I'm so sorry I didn't believe you, Fred. I'm sorry, too. I was so desperate to perform that I lied to you about where we were meeting up. Huh? Um, your earrings! Better get going. Such a shame. I could have been your date to the play tonight. Just you and me. Thanks, but I have other plans. <laughs> The show's not over yet, Ladybug. You just wait. There's still a last act to come when you least expect it. You're here too. Cool. Thought I was gonna end up sitting by myself. Hey, did you bring my phone? I don't know which I liked more. The show or sitting next to my sweet Adrian? Maybe you should give him a call and ask him out to a movie. Speaking of calling, there's something I've gotta tell you, Alia. I... 
accidentally erased your ladybug video on your phone, and then when I tried to fix the problem, I dropped your phone in a dumpster, and now it stinks like bad. Like really, really bad, and I'm sorry. So, so, so sorry. I know how much that video meant to you, and I'm the lamest of friends. Lamer than lame. <laughs> Chillax, lady. If there's anyone on this earth who knows about your legendary clumsiness, it's me, your BFF. So, you're not angry? Well, <laughs> you should have just come clean and told me in the first place, but no, we're cool. Besides, I uploaded the video onto my lady blog before I showed it to you. I'm so <laughs> lucky to have a friend like you. Now that we're good, you probably don't care about the surprise I planned for you. <gasps> screw up or no screw up, you know I love surprises! Okay, you see that theater over there? There's something inside for you, on the stage. Hello! Alia, right? <gasps> Last time I saw you, I was in a hurry, but I've got a bit more time now if you want to interview me for your lady blog. Ah, uh, no. Seriously? Do I? Do I? Have a seat. You don't know me, but FYI, this is like the biggest moment of my life. <laughs> Ali is lucky to have you as a friend, too, you know. Well, show me! Only after I put it on my blog. There's no way I'm gonna lose this video. Hey! <laughs> <laughs>